Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We have got another what's for dinner video for you guys. This week is kind of going to be like a recap of videos that I've already posted throughout the week. So I will make sure to have those links in the description box below. But I hope you guys enjoy. So we are starting off with sticky chicken y'all this was so good i shared this in my cookbook recipe video friday and oh this was my favorite recipe out of that whole video i will have that link in the description box below in case you missed that video y'all can go check it out this was amazing getting dinner going i'm gonna do some baked tacos i've shared these before but i don't remember when um so i'm just gonna share them again we love these um this is a really good like um kind of like a rotation on say taco tuesday kind of throw these in here um they're really easy and it's like an all-in-one kind of meal so i've got my taco shells i've got a can of rinsed and drained black beans, a can of drained corn, some Spam spray, I'm gonna spray a casserole pan, got some Mexican style cheese, and then I cooked this up this morning and it's just some taco meat. So we got everything ready to go and I'm gonna show y'all how, how I put it together. The oven is preheated at 375, so let's get this put together y'all. Now they're ready to go in the oven. I wanted to, to mention that you can put any veggies that you want to, um, anything that you want to put in these. Just fill them up how your family's going to um, enjoy them. Sometimes I do saute some onion and pepper and put on a couple of them for Luke. I'm not going to this time. I'm just going to keep them basic. But I just wanted to note that you can do put anything in the world in these. Uh, you could even do chicken. Do some fajita chicken. Fill it up, then do the layers and bake them in the oven. These are super easy and delicious. So I'll just serve these up with some extra cheese, sour cream, and then a side of that salsa minute rice. I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys, but y'all, this is so good. A family favorite. Next, we got the tomato sauce meatballs. I shared this in my slow cooker video on Wednesday. So I'll have that video listed down below for you guys in case you missed it. Then we've got the creamy fiesta chicken. This was also part of the crock pot video. This was a new recipe for us and it was really good. I will definitely be making it again. We really enjoyed it. Next up is the hobo packets. I shared this in Friday's cookbook collab video. In case you missed it, of course, I'll have it linked down below. This was really good. It was simple and less way less dishes and i feel like this would be perfect for camping throw it on the grill you can change out your veggies your meats anything this was so good and then we have this three cheese pasta bake y'all this was really good uh, this came from the Southern Living Cookbook that I had. I'll have that video listed down below since that was a part of the cookbook collab. I served it alongside with some Italian chicken and Luke loved this. This will also be one of those ones that he puts in the rotation because he really enjoyed this one. Quick and easy dinner here, y'all. I 
threw in some Red Baron frozen pizzas, and then we had leftovers from that three cheese pasta bake. Okay, y'all, it is just me tonight for dinner. Winston is gone, Luke's gone, the dog's here, but it's just me eating. So I thought I would make something that I, I don't normally make. Um, and the reason why I don't normally make this for dinner is because it's not good leftovers. And if you've been here a while, you know normally Luke takes leftovers to work and then we eat leftovers Wednesday I do. So I thought I would make some tuna patties not a huge huge fan of tuna it's not something that you see a lot on my channel but every now and then i'll be like that sounds good so i thought i would make it make this today um, so i have just got one can here of tuna in water and i have just squeezed it out and got all that water so it's just dry And I have no certain recipe. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix what I think is gonna taste good. And then I think I'm gonna do some green beans with it because I'm the only one here that likes green beans. So this is just like the perfect me meal. So I'm just taking and flaking it up with the fork. And then we're gonna go in with one egg. Gonna go in with some pepper, some paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of Dijon mustard, maybe a teaspoon, a little bit, a couple dashes of few dashes with char sauce. Tablespoon of mayo. And then I've got some panko breadcrumbs. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball these. I want it to stick together like a patty. So I wanna make sure that it's, you know, gonna be pliable once I mix everything together. So I might, as I dump them all out, I may have to add more breadcrumbs. So let's get all this mixed up and see. Add a little bit more. I think a lot of people add like onion, regular onion, green onion. You can add anything to these. So this looks good. As I'm stirring it together, it's kind of like, you know, mushing. So I think it's gonna form a good patty. So I'm going to Get my pan nice and hot, get it ready to go, and then start the green beans. And I'll pull y'all over here so you can see me cook them up. So for the green beans, I'm going to add in some Worcestershire. I don't measure y'all, I just kinda add it. But I always add Worcestershire to my green beans. I don't know why, but I always do. A little bit of salt, some pepper, garlic powder, and then if you have any ham or bacon, I normally do that as well, but I don't have any, so we're not going to worry about it this time. And then I'm also going to put in a little bit of butter. A couple tablespoons of butter. And then I'm just going to let that cook up 
feed them through and all that good stuff. I've got a couple tablespoons of butter in this pan that I'm going to let melt up and get it nice and hot and then we'll put our patties in there. Our butter is nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and add in our tuna. So it's definitely nice and moist so it's not going to dry out. You just want it to be able, it to still be wet, but be able to um, patty it out. And then you can make a dipping sauce if you want to to go with it. I'm not going to just because it's me and I'm lazy. <laughs> but. Perfect for one person. But one can of tuna makes two good sized patties. They've been in here about five minutes. I'm gonna take a bit of a flip. Y'all, these look so delicious. Add some green beans. It's time to eat. That's it, y'all. That's dinner for tonight. Quick and easy.